Hi, Sidetrackers. We are Kevin and Ashley of Sidetrack by Adventure, and today we are giving you a tour of Wanda, our 30-foot Class A Winnebago Vista. Quick specs on Wanda before we go inside. Wanda is 30 feet long, 12 and a half feet tall, 9 feet wide. For our tanks, she has a 42 gallon fresh water tank, a 57 gallon gray water tank, and a 41 gallon black tank. To help with boondocking, we have 300 watts of solar and 200 amp hours of lithium ion batteries. Come on in. One of the first projects we did was to remove the old CRT TV. I disrupted the view and really was an eyesore. Um, wasn't a convenient spot to watch TV, so we moved the TV and then created a brand new shelf. Wanda has automatic leveling jacks in one slide, which makes setting up camp extremely easy. So the co-pilot seat has double duty. It's obviously the passenger for when we're driving, but it rotates quite easily, and then you have a office chair. This is our office. Originally, we wanted to have a lazy boy type chair here, which there was no purpose for, so we removed it and decided to build ourselves this custom desk. So it easily pops up, and you have workspace for a laptop, writing, anything you need. If you need a double monitor, we can swing this out. Otherwise, it's just the TV. And our shoes are right there. We don't have to track dirt and sand and everything throughout Wanda. And it's just a convenient out of the way spot for shoes. This is our media cabinet. We store all of our electronics up here. So we have the Verizon Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi Ranger, cellular booster, Kevin's PlayStation, the Canary, Google Home, anything electronical goes up here. Okay, so part of the renovation was the floors. The floors was one of our biggest projects. Uh, these floors are Armstrong vinyl quick lock floors. They were really hard and a pain in the butt to install, but obviously you can see they are really great. Uh, they hold up very well to RV life. Um, they're glued down, waterproof. Um, really haven't found any problems with these floors. So we replaced the traditional jackknife style couch in the RV with this IKEA couch, which is a bit deeper and nicer looking. Uh, it's more comfortable for sitting. And the bonus, both of these seats have plenty of storage space underneath, which is always a good thing in the RV. In this one, we keep our laptops, camera equipment, an excessive number of blankets, and the other side is our laundry basket. This is our dinette. Wanda's traditional dinette was a booth style dinette that collapsed into a bed. Uh, this is a little redesigned, um, more practical for us. And the nice thing about this is it is flexible. So if we need to have a table for the couch, we have a table for the couch. Getting in and out of the booth is super easy. So walking in and out, Ashley typically sits on this side of the booth. So when she's in, we tuck her in and to be able to have dinner here. Uh, this table is really convenient. It moves up and down, left and right. Uh, the only thing I recommend for this table is not getting in such a heavy countertop. So one thing we also liked about the other booth with Wanda had was it had storage in the seating. Uh, we did the same thing for this build. Um, we have storage in this compartment here. And I can move this over. We also have storage underneath here. Uh, plenty of storage. These are more of our long-term storage. Not easy to get into, but they are great for space. Features that we were really trying to ponder was where are we going to put all the dog food? Um, we have two dogs and, and they eat a lot. So the bags of food, uh, we decided to create a pull-out shelving system for easy access to the food. As you can see, once this is open, dogs already know it's dinner time. Uh, but it's super convenient and tucks away just like that. So this is our kitchen and obviously in an RV you are very limited in space in your kitchen. So we tried to maximize as much as we could. And one easy way we did this was above the door we built this spice rack. We both love to cook and we use a lot of spices and we didn't want to take up valuable cabinet space with all of these jars. 
So we took the old valance that was over the doorway and we built a shelf inside and added another magnetic strip up top. So this way we can have as many spices as we want and it's completely out of the way. So this is what we have to work with for our kitchen. And as you can see, it's tiny and there is next to no counter space. So we had to come up with a solution for that because prepping, cooking is impossible to do without some counter space. So when we were demoing, renoing, we replaced the sink, the faucet, we refaced the cabinets, and we installed this teak butcher block. And luckily we had a really big piece, so we had some extra room. So what we did on this side was built a extra flip up countertop that we used to prep, cooking, you know, cutting board. We also use it for our coffee pot, anything we need that we just need a little extra room for. And we also built this stove cover. So it's routed in so it doesn't move when we're in transit. And when we're out of place, it pops in and easily use it for extra room to maneuver around the kitchen. One of our favorite elements in the house is this chalkboard wall. Uh, we had a huge chalkboard uh, wall in our closet in our house and we loved it. So we knew we wanted to incorporate that somehow in this house. And this way, it's an easy, awesome way to track all of our travels. So as you can see, we have been to quite a few places. So this is our bathroom. This is really tiny compared to one in our house we just sold. Um, it's a big adjustment, but it's very functional. Uh, we continued the teak butcher block, um, new faucets, repainted, added a backsplash, um, made it more home. And this is the bedroom, the master suite. So typically in RVs, they have what's known as a queen camper size, which is a little shorter. And being that Kevin is so tall, we decided to extend the bed and put a full size queen in here but that makes the space around it a little tight. And I guess this is what you would call our master closet. So clothes storage is a bit of an issue in this house and we did the best we could and we decided to purchase these bins to store all of our clothes in and it helps keep everything organized and separate. And this is the only closet in the house and it is not that big but we keep our coats, some extra sweatshirts, stuff like that. And in the bottom, we keep all of the extra pet stuff we have. How do we deal with Piper's litter box situation? Because we didn't want it out in the open. So basically this under the bed storage leads into the garage space out back. So what we did was we built a custom ensuite for her to use the bathroom. It opens very easily from the top for us to clean and replace. And for daily use, she can go in and out of the door. So part of Wanda's renovation is the electronics. Um, we need to maximize all the space. So we opted to put the inverter and charge controllers into an untapped space. So inside this drawer space, which houses our pots and pans, we placed our Victron inverter and all our wiring in here. We also have extra spots for 12 volt inside this vent is our charge controller for our solar and as you can see we have all the monitors on the bottom thanks for visiting we hope you'll continue to get sidetracked with us and as always please like comment subscribe below follow us on instagram and facebook and check out our website we'll see you on our next adventure bye